Welcome back, Pioneers. We hope you had an incredible Christmas break. Today is January 5th, 2022. It's time for News in the Morning with your WPKN News team, starring Colton Jackson with the Pledge of Allegiance, Fernando Rodriguez with the Weather, and Miss Parker and Miss Williams with the Pioneer Minutes. I'm Spencer Strong with today's news, but first let's all stand and join Colton Jackson for the Pledge of Allegiance. Colton? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchor. Awesome job, Colton. Now let's check in with Fernando Rodriguez and the WPKN Weather Center with a look at today's forecast. Fernando? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a 16% chance of rain. The wind will be blowing out of the northwest at 7 miles per hour. The high today will be 70 degrees with a low of 44 degrees. Have a great day. Now back to anchor. Great job, Fernando. For lunch today, our fabulous Romeo chefs have prepared us a choice of cheese sticks with a wow butter sandwich and fresh vegetables. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now it's time for today's Pioneer Minutes with Miss Parker and Miss Williams. Take it away, Miss Parker and Miss Williams. Good morning, Miss Williams. Good morning, Miss Parker. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is a wonderful Wednesday because it was so wonderful to see you guys this morning getting off the cars and off the buses. We've missed you and we are so glad to have you back. I want to start the day off by celebrating some successive of successes of so many of you with our buses. Absolutely. 100% of the buses um, stay on the board today. That means that you all remember those pioneer expectations. And our goal, boys and girls, is for those expectations to not only happen at Romeo, but you carry that leadership, you carry that respect, that responsibility, and that safety into your lives. And so obviously that's the case because you came right back perfectly. Let's celebrate 3035, 3026, 3005, 3031, 3024, 3029, 3037, and 3025. Congratulations. Keep it up, boys and girls and car riders. What a great job today of stopping, making eye contact, saying good morning or happy new year. It was great to see you all. And it was also wonderful to see so many of you being safe Everybody from the car line gelled in this morning. They hand sanitized on their way in. We need to make sure we're doing that, boys and girls, as we leave one classroom to go to another or as we're changing groups, we need to make sure we are hand sanitizing, washing our hands before and after lunch and keeping that social distance as much as possible because we want to stay safe, which is one of our Romeo expectations. I also saw a lot of kids being leaders this morning, helping other students get to, um, new students get to the cafeteria for breakfast, helping each other remember to gel in. Awesome to see you guys being leaders today. And a lot of people showing respect, which is our word of the month for January. Respect, which is a feeling or understanding that someone or something is important and should be treated in an appropriate way. Today, your teachers are going to take some time to talk to you about what it means to be respectful, responsible, safe, and a leader in every single place on our campus, whether it's the car line, on the bus, in the cafeteria, transitioning from one place to another in art, in music, in PE, and in your classroom. It is very important that you understand those things because that is what's going to help us be successful in school. And we are here to learn. Teachers, just please, if I could have your attention to let you know that bus 3005 is going to be about 30 to 40 minutes late this morning. We will make an announcement when they arrive. Please hold attendance until bus 3005 arrives.
Miss Williams. All right. Boys and girls, we have iReady AP2 coming up next week. So I want to kind of prepare you for that. And I know your teachers are going to do the same. But I have a little data chat worksheet here that iReady. And they are giving you the ticket. They're giving you the secrets of doing your best on iReady. And obviously, that's what we want. We want to see how much you've grown, how strong you've become, and how many brain build build that brain, how, how well you've done there. So I want you to think about something. When you start your iReady next week, remember, don't rush. Take your time. This is for you. You are showing what you know so that your teachers can better know how to help you become the best you you can be this year. It says, try my best, obviously. Okay? Do your best. Take pride in what you do. Do not stop until you make yourself proud. Reread the passages. Sometimes you'll read something and go, whew, I just didn't get that. Stop. Go back and reread and ask yourself, what exactly did I just learn? Read carefully. Take your time. Double check your answers. I absolutely love walking in and seeing boys and girls underlining their answers in their passages. They're proving their answers to themselves. And finally, use a pencil and paper for math problems. Take your time. Our brains are awesome tools, but boys and girls, to add that in and write those problems down, draw it out for yourself, will make sure you don't make those silly little mistakes. That is great advice, Mrs. Williams, and I know these check sheets will be available for teachers. I know a lot of you are using them, but a lot of you didn't know about those, so we want to make sure we point those out for our boys and girls especially so that they know exactly how to take that iReady AP2 assessment in the way that's going to pave the road to success. Ms. Williams, do you have any other announcements this morning? Just teachers, a reminder that QSMAs are available. If you will just send us an email, we will have them ready for you. All right, for our words of wisdom this morning, they come from Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhi, who was a hero from India, who encouraged people to respect each other and find nonviolent ways to solve their differences. He once said, my life is a message. Oh, sorry, let me try that again. My life, my message. In other words, he lived his life in a way that showed his respect for others and set an example by finding peaceful ways to make changes that improved people's lives. The heroes in our lives have a powerful influence over our thinking and our actions. They can show us the way to reach our goals and dreams, or they can lead us down a dangerous path. Who are your heroes? What is your message? with something to think about on this wonderful Wednesday. Let's make it a great day, Romeo. The choice is yours. Thank you, Miss Parker and Miss Williams. Well, that's all for today, Pioneers. Thanks for joining us th this morning. Be sure to tune in again tomorrow for the news that kids can count on to start their day. I'm Spencer Strong. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now.